here on Kiwi. The Radio Waymo Breakfast. The Academy Cinema's Pick of the Week with John Henderson. Habt ihr euch einmal gefragt, wer das sein könnte, der Kadi so zugerichtet hat? Und den Siki? Und wer die Schnur im Garten des Doktors gespannt hat und die Scheune angezündet? The film we're looking at this morning is called The White Ribbon. John Henderson has been and seen it. Going to give us his thoughts this morning. Good day there, John. Uh, good morning, Wemo. You let me do a translation of those that aren't uh, familiar with high German, Austrian or French. Yes, please do. Uh, basically, the, the lady was saying, this village is cursed, this village is damned, we're all going to die. Crikey. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So not a happy movie. A very mysterious movie, in fact. It runs for over two hours, so it's a long, it's a long pick. And it, I think the director is really trying to uh, get at the ideas of good versus evil and what happens when evil pervades a village in I'm 1913 Germany. 19, what, 1913? 1913. Oh, I was, I was picking wartime. Well, it's just before the First World War, and I think by the end of the film you're getting the idea that the seeds of Nazism uh, for the Second World War were sown in this village because it's all about the controlling parents in the village mm. and the effects that that has on the kids. Brilliant child actors in this movie. Mm. Uh, yeah, a very dark film. Right at the start of the movie, doctor's riding along on his horse. There's a tripwire someone set up. He goes tumbling over uh, a near death near-death experience for him. No one knows who did it. Yeah. Next thing you know, farmer's wife falls through a hole in the floor of a barn. She does die. No one knows who did it. Then the crops systematically fail for the village. No one's sure why that happened. The child is found severely beaten and strung up. No one's sure who did it. And this sort of stuff goes on throughout the whole movie. It's really quite spooky. Yeah, it sounds quite sinister. Yeah, it, it reminds me a lot of those sort of Children of the Corn or Village of the Damned sort uh, of stuff. Yeah. And it is, yeah, it, there are never really a lot of answers. It, it sort of ends up giving you more questions than answers. You're wondering, how did the village exist for so long if it was always like this? Because they're staunchly, I think they're staunchly Presbyterian mm. village uh, founded on Christian values and they can be quite hard, hard people. And a lot of the parents are really nasty. Now it's um it's filmed in black and white as well, or almost green and yeah, it and looks white. great. It's that is awesome, really good. I, I enjoyed that. It was a real change. Yeah, real change from some of the films that are coming out these days. And I think it did help to give you the feel of yes, this this was set a long time ago, nineteen thirteen, in a mysterious small northern German village. Now, um, do, explaining why it's called the White Ribbon, would that give anything away at all, or? Uh, let's just say it's shot in black and white. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah, my German didn't stretch to that. <laughs> but you do find out, I will say. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what would you give it out of five? Oh, it's a four out of five. Visually, it's amazing. Uh, it is very creepy content. I went along not knowing what it was about and came out a couple of hours later wondering what I'd seen and having a chat about it. And that, to me, is always a sign of a good movie. It yeah. got me thinking. And it also had me thinking... Yes, well, is that what happened to the kids of 1913? Did they all grow up to uh, sympathise with the Nazis and, and, in fact, join the party? Could that have happened? Mm. Probably. Mm. Mm. Watch this space. Yeah. Let's, let's see what happens mm. with the Super City. <laughs> <laughs> There's a link there, John? <laughs> a vague link. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks very much, John. Have a great time at the Music Awards. Cheers, Cheers well done. See you. Ich mich euch Gottes Wort nahe zu bringen und euch in seinem Geiste zu verantwortungsvollen Menschen zu formen. Die verzeihen Sie, Herr Vater. Bitte verzeihen Sie. Weiß ist, wie ihr alle wisst, die Farbe der Unschuld.